It's a big day today. Big day. Got myself a medium cold brew. Should have gone large. But we live and we learn. Hello, Nugget. Hello. Hello, my little Nugget. And then next in line, come here. This is the dog cuddle line. Yes. Watching some weightlifting to start today. Um, six by five front squat. Six by two at 75% five weeks ago. Then it was six by two at 80%. Then six by three, six by four, six by five. My dad's here. Hello, hello, hello. All right, Dad. Dad's come to watch today. Just hang out. You know, he just was like, can I come watch you train and hang out at the gym? I was like, yeah, sure. What have you done? Come, come here. What have you done? How did you do that? I spilled a flipping, um... Oh! I actually spilled some boiling hot coffee over my chest. At least it's not your head this time. Uh, yeah. Anyone else's dad just turn up with different injuries every time? <laughs> you, you make me worried, man. Look how he's sat. He's come in and gone proper dad sit. Carla loves Grandpa Jess. Yeah. And I love Carla too. Don't I, Carla? <laughs> you be the. Oh, actually, I wanted to get something before Jazz locks up. Red cups because today's going to be a party. I've brought four of them. I already know today's going to be really hard, so you might see me fail today, but it's not its not in the plan. We're at the top of the hill today in terms of reps. After this week, they'll drop off, but the weight will go up. A little nervous. Five weeks ago, I definitely wouldn't have been able to hit these. It's not open. Like fives at 160, I would have been like, nope. So if we do it today, yep. We're going to have some fun because that's, what, that's, what we, that's why we do this. You know? We do it for fun. Dad's still got his mini. Seen better, D. Seen... No, you haven't lost your keys. Definitely seen better days. It almost, you know your car is like a representation of you, man. <laughs> Just like. Burns. <laughs> Jazz has taken both cup holders. Absolutely selfish. Yes. No, it's a bit sneaky. You got your sippy cup and your coffee. My sippy cup and my coffee. How American of me. <laughs> yeah, but I've got my creatine and my L-citrulline in this one daily and my coffee because you know oh. it's stuck i was wondering if it was stuck or whether this was just a very long intro <laughs> what is happening spotify uh, 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 interesting uh, uh. It's only playing the first second of every song. Why? Oh, you close the app. Mike, his anthem, Rodman. Absolute. If I want to get in the mood to like, just have a vibe, it's this one. You don't need it when you plug it. It's always us. We don't need no introduction. Yeah. We don't need no one for nothing. Say what? But it's always something. I'll sing it down because I... Jack came up with a great idea, so what we're going to do is write a motiv motivational quote on each cup, but everyone's going to do their own motivational quote, and then we're going to put them together and draw them, and then you'll have a quote, hopefully not yours. Oh, I need to think of it. Call yourself an influencer. <laughs> do you not have a motivational quote? You need a minute to think about it. Yeah. Well, I've got to pick, I can only write one. I've got to pick a good one, haven't I? It's for someone else. That's fine. We're going to swap cups, because... Oh, how exciting. Yes. How exciting. <laughs> it's really levelling up this content, isn't it? <laughs> Go what? Every day? Feels good. Feels good today. <laughs> we were just saying, both of us, how much of achievement, uh, an achievement it would be today to hit the reps. Yeah, when we started the cycle, six by two it felt was bad. super hard. Yeah. So to be able to do six by five today would be like five weeks ago, 100%, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Impossible. Like, not, not a chance. I don't think I've ever been in a place where I'd be able to do six by five at this weight before. I've never so been going to bang place. it today, and then we're both going to walk out of here. Don't always have to PB the lifts, you know what I mean? Like, you have, like for reps and stuff, it's always good. They're like little wins across the way. Yeah. Though. You know that you're stronger when you hit sets that you've never hit before. Yeah. I mean, we haven't done it yet. Oh yeah, let's wait and see. Just assuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just going to put something like, don't be sh**. 
but can't say that. So well, you can. Yeah. You can with us around. I'll take this one. You must look through the rain to see the rainbow. <laughs> oh, I like that one. <laughs> yeah, think about that. It's going to be those like badness things that you've got to get out of the way to get to that nice colourful ending. Tom. Thoroughly boring. Get it done. We don't quit. <laughs> Original. Original. <laughs> Stick it on brand. The difficult reps are where the progress is made. <sighs> That's today then. Damn. Well, I thought it was squat appropriate. Oh, you I know? can't wait to drink. <laughs> drink my drink through. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Fill in the inspirational cups. Just a little. At least he remembered his shorts today. Now we're just cheersing, isn't it? Yeah, cheers. cheers. Weird, mm. cool, isn't it? Mm. Oh, I've not had sambuca for ages. <laughs> it's, my, it's my birthday next week. I asked my mum for some white gym socks because it seems to be a recurring problem with all of my white gym socks, and it's always the left one. I don't know if my left toe is just slightly aggressive. Thankfully, stay tuned because we have more hustle socks dropping this winter. Yeah, did you know you were just about to do an advertisement? <laughs> Code Jack for zero percent off. <laughs> you don't look very ready to help with your hands in your pockets. He's not going to need my help. See? Speedy. Is that five? Yeah. Oh, we're doing five, aren't we? Not six. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's good news. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they were easy, man. Yeah, that was. That was. That was so fast. Is that your working weight? Yeah. Oh god. Put the white on and then the two and a half. Never hit five, five reps at 110, so you're gonna do it six times today. Look at that, he's smiling already. Okay, no, that. <laughs> Alright, my first set. Wearing a belt today. <laughs> Last week I didn't for the fours. Today for the fives, I'm like, I knew I was on the limit last week, and the belt definitely helps. I felt all right, better than expected. Now only six more, five can't more times. Say, can't say it was fine. Oh, five more times. Jazz's first set. Boom. Good job, babe. All right, we all got through the first set. Jack's already done his second. Ooh. Ah. That smile means it feels good today. I'm like, oh, I'm surprising myself. That's three. Feels fast. About if I don't concentrate on holding the position on the way down, I know I could easily lose it. But that's where all the tempo stuff we've been doing builds that positional strength and time under tension. So then when you come to doing higher sets, you can stay in that stronger position for longer. Whew. First three are great. Last two, nice fight. Legs are feeling it now. Two sets to go. Get this one done, then there's only one left. Oh, yeah. oh, that last rep. <laughs> like I can fight the last rep, but I couldn't do one more. Reps don't always have to be perfect. I'm actually really happy with the first three. Like just, that last one I hit the bottom, I'm losing a bit of shape, but I'm good or I'm tired. This is hard for me. Jack's last set. Celebration afterwards. Cans. Well, there's a prawn there at the end, but you got them all done. Still faster than mine. Yes! Thank Cluck for that. Pumped? Yes, that's very impressive for me. Yeah. That last ref on that last set. Sorry for shouting. Don't help 
be on the last rep, on the last set. My body knows it's done five sets now and I'm like, I'm very worried about this last set. Ah, I don't want to fail. You won't fail. On the edge. <laughs> oh. You know when you're going down on a rep and you're like, this could be the end of my career. Oh. I mean, that's a bit dramatic, but you know what I mean? You're like, I don't know if I'm getting back up. Oh, my legs, positioning, everything. This is the most nervous I've been doing a set. I'm going in for a PR lift. You are. Ah. Aggressive. So intimidating. Three, come on. Two reps left. Yes, no. Come on, last one. Yes. Better than mine. Oh. Yeah. My wrist. Ah. Oy, oy, oy. Ah. If you're struggling today, nobody cares, work harder. I, I, I kind of believe this sometimes, but I care about you guys. So I care about you still work harder because this, see if you add it up every day, it's going to benefit you and you're going to become even more awesome than you already are. Jack's just about to do a workout. Honestly, that was mentally so hard for me today and physically so hard. Like, I'm a little bit shaky. I'm gonna do some snatches. I don't think I'll be at the percentages that I should do. I'm just gonna go off feel because, like, my body is <laughs> it's telling me it's, uh... that was hard. We ain't going nowhere. We can be stopped now. I don't know the words to... Jeff, don't quit for life. All right, today is speed day. So, a lot of the time, obviously, when you want to lift heavy, you have to train heavy. But not all the time, because your central nervous system and everything will just get a bit screwed. And also, you know, like, one big component of moving weight is speed. What is it, like, force equals... Something over time, distance? I don't know, I don't know the thing. We're doing threes today, pushing off the floor like moderately slow and then really just focusing on really being powerful with the power. Won't be going too heavy, but just be focusing on actual like fast as I can, like you've been let out the gun. Practicing speed is an important thing, right? So you want those fast twitch muscle fibers firing. And if you're moving heavy weight often, like a lot of the time, you know, if you're pulling like a max deadlift or you're doing a max squat, you're never going to be moving fast. Like, yes, you're recruiting those fast twitch muscle fibers, those strong fibers, but you're not moving at a good intense speed. So if you're plateauing in your strength, so say like your squat hasn't gone up in a while or your deadlift hasn't gone up in a while or your snatch or your clean and jerk, maybe continue with what you're doing and add in a few speed sessions. Maybe take out a few strength sessions and swap them for 50, 60, up to maybe 70% of your max lift, but for good explosive movements off the floor, like with a deadlift or hitting the bottom of the squat and really firing out. And I promise you that plateau will be broken. So what I'm focusing on today is getting just a solid slow drive off the floor, just like nice and controlled, so I'm in that good position, and then real fast turn of speed. Kind of like what I said with the last time we spoke about snatches, that change of speed past the knee is super important. Today we're just doing it with powers rather than squat snatch. I want it to be so fast you blink and miss it. That's the goal. I also think this kind of style training is fun. Because the weight is light, you shouldn't be being pulled out of position. You shouldn't be really coming out of position. And if you do, you've got the strength to correct it. Like I wouldn't go anything over 70% of my snatch here. 
like today, maybe up to 100 kilos. Just see how it moves. That might be more than 70% of my snatch. I don't know, what's 100 of 150? As you guys pointed out in the last vlog, my maths was terrible. Have they gone out for a run? Yeah, high rocks training has started. Left Craig and Jeff in charge. Gee whiz. <coughs> that was fast i like that one you can hear it it's an audible sound and it's a lovely audible sound <laughs> only went up five kilos because that one wasn't as snappy as i'd have liked i think the front squats had something to do with it <laughs> Now just build to a fast three, snatch deadlift, like just explosive off the floor into the hip while staying over it. It's not a lot today, especially after those squats. Those squats were a lot. Intensity over volume every day of the week. This is like maximal effort, you know, when you're like pulling off the floor, it's like, just give it everything. If I can build up to like 140 for like a fast three, that'd be, that'd be good for today. All right, top set for the day. Make it look fast. That was a good finish to the day. That felt light off the floor. It's the first time that's felt light off the floor in a while. Nighttime garden scene. It's so dark. It got dark at like five today. Uh, there's many things I love about England. It's one of the most friendly places on earth. Is it? No, probably not, but we are. And we're from England. I think we've got one of the best senses of humour. Like, we're very sarcastic. I like it. The English sense of humour is spot on. And, putting that into context, that's how we deal with the winters. They're not super harsh, but they just get dark early and that's miserable. So just take that vitamin D. Not what you're thinking. The supplement. Ready? Yes. Ready. Let's go. Go. Currently at the moment, saunering like twice a week. Um, it's got many benefits. We're just sitting in a hot room together. We'll be in here for 20 minutes. You know, don't get an opportunity to get hot and steamy with jazz that often, so taking it whilst I can. Why do you not have an opportunity to get hot and You have every opportunity! I'm joking! It's for the video! Sense of humour and that! You're just lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying these days with you lot, you know? I hope you are enjoying them too. They're, they're a lot more chilled and raw than I'm used to, but I'm finding it very enjoyable just to be a part of. Well, you know, we are the... You understand. This is what you feel like when you come out of the sauna. You feel like, uh, what's, what's that character? Super Cyan. Ah. Uh, oh. Ah. Uh, that just sounded like I was in pain. I'm sweating more than Sergio Perez and his concerns for his seat at Red Bull next year. What a catastrophe he had at the Mexican Grand Prix. We're doing a scientific experiment team. Currently, my heart rate is at 128, and probably for the last five minutes of that, it was at 128. That's zone two, cardio. <laughs> Maybe zone three. Basically, me sitting down for 20 minutes in a really hot room has made me fitter, apparently. And if you're into fitness, you should definitely do it because it means my body is getting used to uh, keeping itself as cool as possible. So when you do workouts, long sweaty workouts, you'll be able to go for longer until you hit that red line of the heart rate. Win-win. And I don't know if you can tell, my endorphins are going. I feel great. So uh, another good alternative actually to the sauna is your nan's living room, usually, like mine. <laughs> my nan's living room. May as well be the Sahara. It's that hot up there. 
Right, takeaway food with me. Uh, this is, I'll have this what, once a week? Mm -hmm. Every day if you could. Every day if I could. Look, amazing. Greek, Greek food is great for takeaway if you get the right stuff. Do you want me to take Chicken souvlaki, so it's just grilled chicken. Good carb rice. Pita bread, salad. But it just tastes divine. Like honestly, I would order this every day. Easily. Side note. Who else has crumpets? Look at the macros in a crumpet. Is it, is it good? Yeah, really good. 0 0.4 grams of fat. It's got 3.3 .3 grams of protein in it. 97 calories. Wow. Mm. I've been going hard from the night into the daylight Telling them all that yesterday's price is not the same price Eating up once for breakfast, I can tell you what it tastes like Wake up and I see red and I still don't got no break